always find myself asking, seeking, I-N-G, you get it? Asking, I-N-G. Seeking, I-N-G, huh? And knocking, I, huh? It's, it's a continuous thing. Yeah. Watch this. Not only my prayers ought to, uh, my prayers should be persistent or persevering, but secondly, prayers, my prayers rather ought to be permanent yeah. or, 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 uh, perpetual. Yeah. Are you in here? Uh, uh, a uh, constant, never ending. It should go on just like that energizer bunny. I, I, I continue to pray because I understand that that's where my strength is. That's where my spiritual vitality is. Huh? That's how God strengthens my spiritual muscles through prayer. And so when my prayers are persistent and persevering and when my prayers are permanent and perpetual, here it is, the feelings of prostration pass away. Y'all don't know when to shout. Yeah. Don't know when to shout. Huh? Rewind, play. You ready for it? When my prayers are persistent and persevering, and when my prayers are permanent and perpetual, the feelings of prostration pass away. Yeah. Prostration, what do you mean, Pastor Dawson? Discouragement. <laughs> Weariness. Anybody ever been discouraged before? Yeah. Anybody ever been weary before? Yeah. Well, the text says, when I find myself always praying, yeah. huh, the less chance I have to grow in weary. Yeah. That's when Paul comes in in Galatians and tells us, and let us yeah. not grow weary. Oh, come on, help me. Huh? In well-doing, for in due season, you shall reap. If you don't give up, look at your neighbor and say, baby, don't you give up. I know I'm preaching. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And we're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. I, I, I promise you, I promise you, the rules. we out of here. Yeah, I promise you, we out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Notice now. Oh, I know. I got to put it on myself. Watch this. Notice. Notice. Call the cab, call the cab, early Charlie. Notice this. Notice the difference between the words asking, seeking, and knocking. Are you in here? Asking, seeking, and knocking. There seems to be uh, a, a progression in prayer. This, this, this is progressive in nature uh, as it relates to these terms: asking and knocking. Y'all want me to finish, you gotta help me out. Uh, asking, seeking, and okay, okay, okay. Asking, we generally ask for something when there is a need or a want. The easiest way to get something is to ask for it. Come on, talk back to me if you can. Now it's a basic, basic principle. You want something? You ask for it. Because closed mouths. Oh, some of y'all have been to the hood once or twice. You want something to learn how to open up your you know what? You know that's what we teach DJ and Kayla at home. Huh? Because we won't know if you want something if you never open up your mouth and ask for it. And that's why Pastor Dawson oftentimes sits in the sanctuary and wonders and ponders even in his own internal mindset when he peruses the parameter of the parishioners in this sanctuary and he's trying to figure out how in the world can folk be so closed mouthed in the sacred space of the sanctuary. Because I know that Pastor Dawson is not the only one that stands in the need of a blessing. And all Jesus is saying, if you want more of me, ask me for more of me. And the best way to do it is to stand on your feet, lift up your hands, open up your mouth, and say, here it is, one of my great songs. Lord, to pay some bills. I need the Lord.
need him. I need him. Uh, and it shows up yes, in my asking. Yeah. But secondly, I told you we're moving on. Watch this. We generally seek when something is out of place. Give me five minutes. Five minutes. At that five, just raise your hand. This, this, five minutes for now. This, this seeking. Are you in here? Uh, this requires, watch this, patience to search. We don't want to wait for nothing. And we like the patient. But here it is. We want everybody to be patient with us. But we don't want to be patient with them. We want to be treated a certain way. I can treat you how I want to treat you because of who I am. Look at your neighbor and say, baby, you're a nobody. Just like I'm a nobody. But my job is to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Now when I do that, that makes me a somebody. Oh. Oh. Because ain't nobody ever got saved in your name. Ain't nobody ever got delivered in your name. Ain't nobody ever got healed in your name. In the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess. I don't care if your name is Samuel. I don't care if your name is Clement. I don't care if your name is Dawson. I don't care if your name is Scott. I'm still a nobody. And when I make it over, I want to hear him say, Bye. chicken, but I have to believe this is chicken somewhere around. I, I, I can't smell it, but I can but I can feel it. Watch this. Some of y'all ain't smiled since I've been up here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Watch this. This, this knocking suggests that I am seeking entrance, Deacon Farmer. I am seeking to gain entry. Notice, I'm knocking because I believe that there is someone on the other side of the door. Is a cab out there? Well, I'm ready to take off. Somebody. Now watch this here. I can't see it, but there's somebody. I can't touch him, but there is somebody. Can't put my hand on it, but there is somebody on the other side of the door. And so, in order for this uh, person to open the door, uh, I have 